Hello everyone, I'm the Woe Chicken, and in the last episode we got stuck for a while in this this uh, ghost house, and now we are in a small hallway, and I can't help but assume that the middle of this will fall, so I'm going to try to fly over it. Nope, I fell. There we go. There we go. And now I'm here. Neat. Uh, what's this? This is strange. Hello? <laughs> you fell into our trap. Now you will never get out. Alive. Okay. What's this have to say? Want that fire flower? It's a good time. What's this? Warning! The next room is filled with gas. You will only have 100 seconds to escape. Oh, cool. Okay. So, ah, uh, it's gas. Oh, it's kind of a neat custom effect, though. Oh, uh, there's gas. Oh, uh, there's gas. Look at the gas. Go, go, go. Go, Mario. Go, Mario. Ah, go, Mario. Go. Uh, okay. Um, this is interesting. I, I I did not remember this at all. Uh, I wonder if I could I could have actually made it into that other door if I had uh sort of done it right. What's what is going on here? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you just have to like cho no, you have to choose one and just go with it. Oh, uh, okay. Running. Uh, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Uh, oh, uh, there's Eeries. There's Eeries. They're translucent Eeries. Look at them. They're translucent Eeries. What are they doing? Oh, jeez. There's another one. Uh, need that. Need that cape. Need that cape. Need that cape. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I'm stuck at a speed now. No. 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 Okay. Running. 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 Oh, there's a ghost. Hello, ghost. Uh, there's the exit. Probably. Uh, I want to get down there. Uh, go. Mm. Uh, time zero? That's weird. Whatever. I made it. I did it. Yay for me. Uh, so yeah, I, was, I wonder if you, I can actually get into that um, door that I started the... Oh, bonus game. Yay. Uh, that door that I started the episode on. Um, I'm not sure. It looked, like, it looked like the spot I was falling down into was only too wide. So maybe. But I didn't succeed. So there you go. Um... Mario's like, yes, this is what scissors look like when you play rock, play, rock, paper, scissors. All right, on to the next area. This is Bowserland number five. <sighs> yeah, um, last episode. Oh, oh, it's got the disco ball. I love the disco ball. This was one of those things that, like, showed up in, Mar in uh, what was that game called? <laughs> Super Mario World. Uh, what's this game I'm playing called? Uh, that I always thought was just like a neat bonus thing. Kind of like how ninji show up near the end. It just sort of felt like they, they threw it in there to have fun. And that was the only reason. They were just sort of like, oh, I'm just going to put this in the game for funsies. For funsies. We're going to put a disco ball in there for funsies. I don't know. I love it. I think it's a really neat effect. Uh, it, it honestly isn't necessary. I mean, I can see just about everything in here. But, well, actually, well, this, this is the ROM hack. Maybe there is something... Uh, something unexpected in here like in the original super mario world you didn't need it for anything i mean you could still see just fine the closest to needing it you you uh came was for the nin ninji characters because they were kind of you know they're like all black but aside from that it's not hard <laughs> ah i mean you can still get hit by shells but as you can see the koopas are glowing so um i feel like i'm gonna be able to go down something at some point herp herp -a derp Maybe, maybe. No, no, wait for it. I did it. Um, and you too. I did it. Turn the light. That's, that's Trixie. That's Trixie right there. Oh my gosh, that was uh. They got me. They got me good. They must have known. I guess. I guess they figured people would be trying to turn the lights back on, so they did that. That's. It's pretty good. Good on you, Ragb. I think is who who made this ROM hack. R-A-G-B. Um, well done, sirs or gent- Or gentlemen or ladies. I was going to say sirs or gentlemen. Um, oh, okay. Really could use the lights, honestly. <laughs> as much bragging as I was doing a minute ago, I could kind of use them. They would be nice right now. Uh, and now there are jumpy guys. For some reason. It's weird. Very strange. Uh... Started to say something, I completely forgot. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? We are almost to the. Mario's shaking. Mario, are you afraid? Why are you vibrating like that? It's very odd. Um. 
Yeah, we're getting close. That's castle number seven? Wait. Wait a minute. Indulge me for just a moment. I feel like we already saw castle number seven. Or number six. Number five. <laughs> I'm good at counting. What was this? Oh, this was six. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought, for, for whatever reason, I thought that Roy's castle was labeled five. I guess because Roy is usually number five. Uh, it usually goes Iggy, Morton, um, Lemmy, Ludwig, Roy, uh, Wendy, and then Larry. And it looks like Larry's going to be the last one here, too, but what's this? Hello. Attention! Mario is almost at my castle. All bullet bills attack at first sight. Bowser. Uh, I think this... I think this level is one of the cooler levels if, I, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Is this, is this the fast one? Yes. This is the one where you you just have to keep going. <laughs> this this level like you you start the you start the level off in low time and you're just supposed to run and it's awesome. There was a game the um, I I kind of got into the the uh got into a proper appreciation of like running games not from Sonic as as you might expect. It was actually from uh, Rayman uh, Legends uh, for the... Uh, I played it on the PS4 first. Um, I think it's on... I think it was supposed to be a, a Wii U title. Or it is a Wii U, Wii U title. But I played the PS4 one. Anyway. Um, Alright, so go this. How do I do this? <laughs> How do I do this? I feel like I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Anyway. Yeah, I played it on the PS4 and that game is all about running. And... In particular, it's got, like, levels that are just completely about just running and, like... Okay, there we go. Yes, now you just run. It's it's so cool. You just kind of get hit by bullet bills. Um, you're just supposed to keep on going, and that's all you do. You have to, like... You have to maintain your speed the whole time, so you, you just kind of have to keep running. I don't know. It's cool. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, Rayman Legends has levels where you are just supposed to uh just supposed to run they're like music levels i guess for lack of a better term and they're cool they're super fun and i i really like that and so i'm i like that this level exists as well so you can um just kind of run and uh i don't know it's neat i like it a lot uh, and i remember this is one of the levels that kind of stu stood out to me in terms of what I wanted to get to in this game, because I remember, I remembered it from, from my first time through. I will admit that as I'm playing it, I did not remember it was just sort of like a lot of bullet bills that you kind of had to jump over, or bonsai bills rather. Um, I thought there was a bit more trickiness to it, but that's fine. Um, it's just a cool notion that of like, you know, Bow Bowser issues an order for all bullet bills to just attack Mario on sight and. Mario is just like running. I don't know. It's cool. I like it. Um, kind of makes me wonder if there is like a uh, not a not a speed run way to do it, but like a there's some specific I want that um, way that you're supposed to do it so that you like never stop or you like bounce off of everything or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that would be cool if it was the case. I need that. I need that. Maybe I don't actually have to <clears throat> maintain my momentum the entire time, but I like it anyway. Whatever. Up. Go. Running time. Nope. I got hit. Uh. Fudge. Hmm. I also remember it being easier than this. <laughs> mm. Okay. Get this. I feel like they also had, like, running levels in, um... Super Mario 3D World, which is one of my favorite Mario games in recent memory. I really, really liked Super Mario 3D World. And, you know, the, the reason I liked it, honestly, was I think because it felt so connected to, ow, the sort of, uh, the, the Mario universe. Like, so I've heard the argument before that, um... Nintendo is sort of, uh, I should just run under it, but whatever. Um, Nintendo's sort of regressing in terms of their creativity, like they're not putting as much effort into, um, inventing new things, 
and Mario Odyssey was supposedly uh, a real step towards new invention, which was exciting for a lot of people. But, I, and I'm not going to say I didn't like Mario Odyssey, because I did. I enjoyed it. Um, but I feel like I enjoyed... I gotta stop trying to jump over those guys, but when I see them, I assume I need to get over them. Uh, what that? Um, and duck. And jump. I think that's the thing with this this level, is that you're supposed to know, know when to duck, know when to jump. Know when you don't need to do anything. I need that. Um, yeah, like, I really liked Super Mario uh, 3D World because the elements in it were familiar to me. Moreover, they, the elements in it were like things I knew and loved from the Mario universe. Like they brought back a lot of illustrations, which I thought was really cool. Um, it was just really neat. I don't know. I really liked it. And they had running levels and they were fun. And that's the end of my story. I eventually made it through that level. <laughs> it took it took some doing as I kept running headlong into those uh, bonsai bells. But now we are finally at Larry's castle, right before the gates of Bowser's castle. And I have run up against time again because I did so terribly in that level. So in the next episode, I will do this ca castle thing and it'll be a good time. I'm the Moy Chicken and I'm great at exiting, exiting episodes. Thanks for stopping by.